y'all not coward. Y'all being real about what y'all doing. So. Some more podcast medicine, man. I'm talking about some people. It just coming right now. You know what I'm saying? It's their first appointment to the doctor. You know what I'm saying? So they don't know if they're gonna get medicine or not. You know what I'm saying? They try. They come in here to get medicine, but they don't know. So they playing hurt and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know how niggas do to get the medicine. Try to. Yep. You ain't gotta do that. We gonna give it to you. We 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 giving everybody a prescription. First time users, right. you know what I'm saying? First time users that we cure the niggas who been who been coming to us and get these scripts. Right. You know what I'm saying? We blessing them. We just passing out scripts. You dig? We might be under investigation. So right. we, we we passing them out. I got you. We got you. Uh, we got you. you know what I'm saying? I go by gas to hate them, man. I missed the minute of the instigator. J time of the media. Fact, 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 big three. Fact, facts in the yeah. building. Like they never left, man. We ain't going nowhere, man. We here to stay. You heard? Byron Cody right. had me here so long, I really feel like I didn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just be honest. I, I just felt like I ain't leave yet. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's, just, it's, it's a run on, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, just, right. you know, but, but I kept a nigga, like, that was a long ass interview, like, you know what I'm saying? But it was good. It was it informative, was you know, uh, you know it, it, was, it was impactful in his own way. And it was good. One thing I did like, I liked the interview, but one thing that I just couldn't, I can't just, you know, grasp because I always think about shit like that. And since I've been thinking about, like some some somewhat business minded about everything. Mm-hmm. I think straight to the business about anything. Like trying to see like what's the business behind it, and it's always money. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. nine profits, whatever. It's always about some money. I used to think that when the people say the word nine profit, I'm like, man, these people just doing this shit for free, and no no nothing come from this shit the whole while. They get money for this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just the name of it. I'm just thinking like non profit mean man, Ain't no profit. Ain't no profit. Right. We going to the store spending our money and we giving it away. Right. That's what I thought that, that shit was the whole while. Non profit only meaning that I ain't gonna be taxed on it. That's that's the bottom line to non profit. Like it's, it's it's an organization that the government don't tax us on because we got this whatever see whatever the name of a yeah. non profit thing is, that's that's what Shit, they Byron use it up. Yeah. C three C three two Yeah, whatever that number is. <laughs> and he said that uh, what the yeah, white yeah. people was uh was doing they did the right thing with it with the wrong intentions though. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm thinking like damn if I'm Byron Cole and I'm I'm really for the people, I could do the same thing. If I'm legit, I could get the C two three whatever and Move to fucking Lakeview too. We're not in. That's the profit from me doing the good work that I'm supposed to be doing with the good intent. Right. Like, what's wrong with doing that? For but for to say that a nigga doing that with to reap nothing, I just helping people. No man, I'm talking about therapists, bro. Lawyers, your life in their hand. They they professional people to help you. Right. But we we're not doing it for free. Nah, no, no doctor gonna do a surgery for you and then don't get compensated for it. Oh, even have, though they want to save your life, we for the people. Even the woke motherfuckers, bro, it's always something. Yeah, man. What I'm trying to tell you is, man, look, buy this, come support this. Nigga, I've been told you a whole whoop. But what I'm really trying to say is, man, come support this because at the end of the day, I have to reap something, my nigga. But 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 in the mix of you. Doing a good deed, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm only asking this question. What you doing when, when you out to do a good deed and there's a benefit that comes from it, is it a wrong thing behind no, that? Yeah, it I'm no just wrong asking, thing. is it a wrong thing? Because people sometimes look at people reaping a benefit off of doing a good deed and then act like those people pull the state at the bottom of the totem pole because you're doing it for a good deed. No profit shouldn't be even involved with it. And I just don't directly believe I think that. a nigga more have a problem with the people who doing the good deed and, and, and hiding that I'm reaping from it. Yeah, That's but, the but, problem. But it shouldn't even be a secret that I'm, 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 I'm out to reap something because I think it should be deserving of the person that's doing a good but deed. But some people sell it as if 
I'm not reaping nothing. And that's 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 you can't do that, bro. But I don't think that they sell it as I'm not reaping nothing. I think they sell it as they put in front of you what they're doing for the most part. And and with that being put in front of people, people think that you perceive it as that's the only reason you're doing it for. You know what I'm saying? They never say that's a good, that's a good point. they never say that I'm doing this, but I don't want nothing. They ain't never saying that, you know. And now that you see see them getting something, now you have a problem with. Hold up, how you move over here? How you got this new car? How you did that? Listen, man, I'm coming here and I'm giving you. I got, I, you know, I'm at service for you. I'm, I'm, I'm if I'm a preacher, That's I'm preaching. Service. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving you the word. I'm giving you the medicine. The whole nine. It's the same way with the podcast. We giving you medicine. We giving you shit to go up. But listen, we need them super chats, right? You know, we, you know, because. We can't sustain doing what we do if we don't get yeah, the real but, support to do it with. And, and that's cool. But the secret, if, if, if we got the secret of that ain't what we doing, it rub people the wrong way when you're trying to hide it, when they vividly know, man, them, them dudes need super chats. But you know what I'm saying? Right. But, but, but like, like I'm saying, is like, it's who's who, who, who saying that they're hiding it besides the person that's perceiving what you're doing? See, you could be perceiving me wrong. You could be perceiving that I shouldn't get nothing or I shouldn't want nothing because I'm doing a good deed or a good service. So if you're doing that, you shouldn't even want nothing. No, man, I got to survive. I got to live, too. I got things I want. I got things that I aspire to being and and going as well. But in the mix of what I'm doing, you don't think I need to be compensated for my service? I ain't putting this holy water on you (laughs) (laughs) and forgetting about my life bill. Right. Shit still got to be paid. Shit still got to be taken care of for me to even come back tomorrow and do the same thing. And this is my full-time job. Right. Pastor. Right. Or or whatever they do. Right. So I got to have, I got to get some money from it. Right. You know, so I think people just perceive that as the wrong thing on their own because I never heard nobody say, now, nah, this is where I'd be wrong at if you're like, I'm doing all this and I don't want a quarter, but you're taking a quarter. No, that's what, that's what I'm saying. That's the, I think that's what the problem be. That's what I'm saying. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. If you're speaking like, I don't want nothing. I, I, I very seldom hear people of service nothing. saying, I don't really want nothing from it, right. but you're still taking something from it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's deceiving to me because you... Proclaim that it wasn't about a quarter, but you still ask, you still taking dollars and things of that nature. Like, oh, help, or you still want get hundreds? But what I'm saying is, right now, you just got to get five dollars for the registration fee, and whoa, 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 but we can get you hundreds. But you need to pay that first five. Right. Like, you know, what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> it should be gay, man. Right. That what they can hit me with. You know, what I'm saying I need you to take this, well, man. What a five dollars add up like a motherfucker. All right. You know, but it's, it's a part of... I'm uh, doing the C2-3, zero and all that shit if I'm doing the works, my nigga. You're doing a non... You're you, you, you going to get your non-profit uh, identification number to do everything that you need to do. Yeah, I'm not going to watch other people do it for the wrong reason and then critique them when I could do it the legit way. Hey, you know, I, I, I agree with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, I... I, I agree with you on the side of that. I don't that's a think broke man scheme, that nobody bro. wake up to that's, not yeah, bro, get that's nothing. A, that's a broke man, dog. That's a broke man scheme, dog. That it, 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 it's all about money, bro. A broke nigga scheme is to make it to play on the emotions of the people. To make it seem like if you're going through something, I'm worried. I care. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you the lean on. But really, just trying to get a few dollars out of you. What about the people that uh, hey, have money? No, but this too. Hold up, let's get to that. A nigga who get money, rich motherfuckers, ain't trying to save the world, bro. I'm worrying about a motherfucker. Nigga ain't trying to save the world. You get some money, all that shit changed, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, people that have money have to write off a certain amount of money. So they give money to organizations that they, you know, in agreement with or I want to donate so much money to this because at the end of the day, either I could do it that way or I got to get a government that money. You know what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of people like the photo ops and all those type of things because it, it, it values them up on saying, listen, I got $300,000 that I'm going to donate to this no, situation. No, I'm talking about measuring up to the people who outside every day say I'm trying to change the world, I'm touching the people, I'm doing nine profits. Rich people not doing that, bro. They don't care about that, bro. When niggas... Like a nigga say, 
Boy, you don't be having money to pay your own bills, but you're going outside trying to help everybody else and trying to touch everybody else. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's a broke. You, you, you going home and don't have nothing to even buy your chair. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because you and then you do spunch your whole day every day talking about changing the world, going out there, getting on the intercom, talking about I'm touching the people. I'm doing this shit for the right reason. You ain't gaining no money from this shit, but you going home and your fucking kids saying you hungry. Daddy ain't got money. But you you trying to change the world. Rich people not doing that, dog. Rich people don't give a fuck about trying to change the world. Boy, we got some money and we got some money. Right, but I, what I was trying to say is that they do donate to their favorite nonprofit to yeah, that's do what they, that. That's what, yeah, because I mean, that's what they have that's to what makes sense the, to do to 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 uh, write off some of the money. Because either way, it goes, no, that's cool. I'm but that's not your me. everyday life worrying about the people, like a nonprofit right. or these people who saying that's what I, that's what I'm out here set to do: touch the world, man, change the world, just do my part, man. I, niggas with money, I don't see nobody with money doing that. So, guys, you feel like. You know, and, and this is a question to you. Uh, I don't see no nigga with money worrying about and doing the shit y'all, I mean, uh, buying a code doing. I don't see no nigga with money. I'm talking about on that type of time. Going out there, courthouse, all that type of shit. A nigga with money is not doing that. Right. You know, but but I, I do believe that they have people that genuinely want to change situations in the world the whole nine because they... Might hate the society they live in, and, and yeah. it's all subjective to how people feel about whatever. You know, they got some people that I'm not saying that they don't want no money to sustain their lifestyle or whatever, but I can still believe that they have a genuine yeah. interest toward. I really want to change this. I really want to help these kids for real. Like I, I, I believe that they have people like that. You know what I'm saying? That that uh have that that side of their heart that they want to do that. Like, we, we talked about this before with coaches and things of that nature. These people genuinely want to help these kids. Like you say, they're not making no money. I say rich, too, though. No, no, no. I'm talking about, the, I'm talking about a, a, a football coach that is not rich, but he still donates his time without any pay to dedicate whatever to these kids to kind of help them develop or become something from one, you know, in society, to be a better man or a better whatever in society. And I think that they do that from a genuine place of because I really want, I love these kids and I want to see them put in a better position or a better place. Now, I know people like that culture. Mm-hmm. Like and they that. work and I also nine to five. that live vicariously through the kids that's on the field because, because they, they could your chance. So that's what, like you getting paid from that. You don't got to always got get paid like in money. You know what I'm saying? You getting paid from that and that will keep you going. That's your payment. That's your drive. That's your drive. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what makes this shit a, a, a slippery slope because in the mix of whatever's going on, they got different people that's got different motives for whatever they're doing. So that make all that shit look like I don't know because they do got the genuine people, but in the mix of the genuine people, they got the, the, the scammers and the connivers that's in the mix of the same thing. I do the same thing that you do. You're doing it from a genuine spot. I'm doing it from a kind artist spot. I'm going to use what you do because I see people buying into that, and I'm going to kind people off of the generosity of what you stand for because they're going to believe that I'm doing the same thing that you do, that they donate money to you for it. They donate money to me, but it's, it's, it's for my personal needs and what I want to do. When this dude genuinely doing it, and that's what makes shit always crazy, and then people get put in a box that all of them is the same. You know what I'm saying? Like when you look at it from that, because all I need to find is one scammer in a situation of what's going on. If I give money to this person, then I meet this man, and I find out that this man is scamming, I'm looking like, man, all them niggas scammers. You know, that's why they say... A, a, a bad apple could spoil a whole bunch. You know what I'm saying? Because once I get one rotten apple, I'm thinking maybe all them bitches might be rotten. You know, and that's, that's what's so unfair about situations and people need to have discerning spirits to find out who they're really dealing with instead of just judging a, a one man off another and man. Some people don't have no interest. I just want to be a part of something that I feel like that will take off. You know what I'm saying? Or I could be... Uh, get some kind of fame or notoriety from it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I attach myself to this park ball. You know what I'm saying? This, this this playground right here. They got a good team. They it's all type of shit, bro. You know what that's I'm why saying? I say it's a slippery slope because it's, it's so much it stuff is, that's uh, gathered together to be one thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's so much stuff that's you know so many people with different mindsets involved with the same situation that we can't really pick out 
what is what, you know, behind whatever. In every organization, I think they got snakes in every organization. I don't think that there's an organization that's just fully everybody is on the same accord, good, wholesome people. I think that in every organization, they got somebody like, shit, I'm trying to get me. What? Yeah. I'm about to. This what they doing? You know, they, they'll take your positive thing and, 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 and do the whole wrong thing with it for themselves. And, and make your whole brand look like all y'all like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm no, saying? for real. Facts. 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 It, man, that, that, that's wild. Because the out, the people on the outside, they see your shit for what that one person did, too. Right. Even though all y'all doing this, this the good. good, the good, all the tickets one bad. One, and that's all we see. There's a lot of niggas with them type of flaws, bro, that... that they don't see that a motherfucker can see in them, and then make a motherfucker don't want to fuck with them because I know you that type of person. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know you that type of person, bro. Down the line, them flaws you got. Yeah. And, and you know what those type of people always feel like? Man, don't judge me off another nigga, but that's 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 a part of life of yeah. uh, of finding out. If, if I know that it's you, a pattern. you, yeah, it's a pattern. You move in the same way this other motherfucker right, who right, fucked right. over me. Why should I trust you? And then you. Want to make that person, man, don't judge me off another man. I'm, I'm, I'm me. Yeah, but bitch, you moving the same way that this snake nigga moved on me as well. It's only right that I, I, I push away from you. And then they say that you're carrying baggage over from whatever relationship you got with somebody else on me. But nah, dog, I see the same behavior habits in you that I saw in another nigga that did me dirty. I was supposed to cut it off early. Listen. I'd be, be a fool not to. I had to cut it out early, one of my partners, bro, because, you know, doing this shit, bro, and I'm pretty sure, dog, you see motherfuckers all the time, and put me on that podcast, man, get me on that podcast, man, that's all I want to do, get me on that podcast, I never asked you for, nigga, come up with so many reasons why you should get me on there, I never asked you for nothing, <laughs> bitch, whoa, 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 you know, you really do owe me a favor, all kind of shit why a nigga should get on the podcast, you know what I'm saying, that's how the shit be coming to me, and it get to a point, you just gotta be like, no, bro, because you'll keep going down the line trying to explain the reason why, and like that, bro, just going this way, and this and that, you know what I'm saying, and a nigga got mad with me because I told him, you don't have no direction. You right. can't. Nigga, like, the fuck you mean? I ain't no direction. Woo, woo, woo. We damn near, you know, getting it took. And I don't know if it was an insult to him, but I didn't say it with them, you know, as being an insult. I'm saying the real. All right, you come on the podcast. You a nigga who just get on Instagram and just talk your shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some people like what you do. Some people be in the comments saying this nigga a clown. You know what I'm saying? Some nigga says the realest nigga. You nigga say speak his mind. Woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. You getting some views from that. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have a destination to 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 lead somebody to support you. What is they What is they supporting? They supporting by they supporting you by saying, man, you be talking real shit. You, you see what I'm saying? What is they doing? That can contribute to you to get some money to go nothing. So you gonna come on the podcast? You got some t-shirts you selling? You got a YouTube channel? You can go subscribe and send some super chats and become a member. And you know you build, build some. You got a book? You got a purchase link for a nigga to buy something that's coming to their house in you know three days, four days? Do you have anything? No, I I I, I, I was gonna get that and I was checking out the Shopify and this and that. I was gonna. You don't have nothing, brother. You know what I'm saying? That's, right. that's what I mean. It's not an insult, bro. So you just need some type of direction or uh, 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 something that, like, what is, you don't even know what you're doing, what you're gaining, or what you're building. We're building the podcast. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing. We're using our experiences, our knowledge, and our everyday struggles to give back to the people, uh, what, what, we, what we done been through, trying right. to help. Life and, content. And life content and what's, what's, what's more like for the youth. You know what I'm saying? Because right. we didn't miss some people for us being a youth. We didn't miss them. So, but they, they daddy and their uncles listen to us. And then they could woo the information to them when they go Based to the on. cookouts and go to, you know what I'm saying, by their sister house and they see the little nephew doing homework and he watching this nigga spray some little game. Just whatever. We could get to them. But that's the destination. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you got to have something, brother. So it ain't just no, I don't want to put you on the podcast. It's going to devalue what we doing. They're going to be like, who is this clown? What are you on here for? 
Just to just to talk. You know, I don't know. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I look at that like you know, from a different perspective, somewhat. And and the reason why I'm looking at it from that perspective because some people, you know, don't have a destination of where they're going at, but sometimes they need to get involved with something to find a destination to to go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So some people be trying to find themselves in a mix of whatever they got going on. I'm just trying to find out who I am, what's good, what the people like from me, what's my niche, you know? And I got to dipper and dapper into different things until I find a niche that I feel like, oh, this is this me, right. you know, because no matter how old somebody is, you know, sometimes people still be developing and finding, like, what what, what am I good for? You know what I'm saying? And, and some people get it earlier and some people get it later. But the whole level is they still always that's on the difference. journey of that's trying a, to no, find, understand what you find saying, a niche. And that's cool. But that's the difference of trying to figure out what you're getting into uh, to, uh, then to find out that you want to do something and do it without no direction. Not just I'm tapping in this, I'm tapping in this, I'm tapping in this, trying to find out. No, you can pick something. That's what I do. I get on this fucking Instagram. That's what I do. Make videos all day uh, and getting in everybody's business. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do. I, I, that, that, that's, that's my fucking job every day. That's what you do. You got to find direction into that. What you saying, nigga, shit, you dipping in that, dipping in this, dipping in that. Nah, man, everything I'm dipping into, I need to find some sense of direction. And that's why niggas, bro, got to do multiple choice, bro. Find out the things on the paper, what you good at, my nigga, and try to narrow that shit down to what. So, And when you get to the end, you that should be like something that you really, really can do. If you put fucking five things on the paper that you good at and you eliminate one of them to four and eliminate one of them to three and all the way down to one, boy, that means you did some hard thinking how to get to this one. That means you pressure at that one that you done came up with. You need to ride with that. That's what you good at. And that's why people say you need to do something that you good at and something that you love. Right. But I, but but what I was saying, even in the mix of what you're saying, and you're right, everything you're saying right there is right, but sometimes... You know, I'm I'm still trying to find that one thing. And, you know, like, even though I get up and talk about this, I, I talk about this because I've got a little traction from it. I've got a little attention from it. So off the attention I'm getting, I'm trying to still see, first of all, I might not know how to get monetized by it. I might not know how to make it a business. I might not know, you know, how to make it something that's a final destination to doing because, like, I'm just... Trying to figure it At out. At certain like, age, Mina, your priorities, your responsibilities, and the things that you have to take care of, it's no room for error. It's no room. Sometimes it's no room right. to tap into certain things and woo woo woo. Man, I don't have no room for error. This shit gotta work. This is a one kill. I got one shot. I gotta make it work. That's how we rocking. Nigga, we 40 years old, 50 years old. Nigga, we don't got time to be dibbing and dabbing. Nigga, if I was dibbing and dabbing, nigga, I'd be homeless as a motherfucker. Right, 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 right. But that's, that's why I say some people. You know, learn this as an early age. Some people learn it as a, 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 as a later age. Because, listen, you could have some success in something when you was younger. And then that spiraled down. Mm-hmm. You know, you arrive at a certain point in your life where you like, even if, like, I'm going to use rap for instance. I could have started rap at 19 years old. Had a lot of success with rap. Didn't think rap was going to ever end. Get into my 30s or early 40s and... I'm not a demand no more where people really want to fuck with me the way they was fucking with me when I was 19. You know what I'm saying? That shit done played out. We're in a whole new era. People on a new shit. The shit I'm into or the kind of music I do, people ain't really checking for that. I'm starting all over again. I got to find out, like, now what's my niche to carry me from 40 to have an age that I'm going to grow to? So it's like I'm starting from the beginning of something else, like right now, you know what I'm saying? And some people get caught in a in the age bracket of being like, damn, bro, I'm 40 something, I'm 50 years old, trying to find out something new to do. Because what, what I once did is played out. Nobody even checking for that no more. Even got businesses. We're gonna go to a level of people that starting businesses that at one time this was the business of of choice. And then it came to a level where, man, we all online right now. We don't even go to them stores. Like, you know what I'm saying? That store done went out of business. This all I know is this store. So now that I get to this certain age and I this store no more, nigga, I got to create something brand new right. to, to take my life to the next level. So, you know, it's hard to judge people off of, you know, whatever, unless we know their whole, their whole story. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where you been at where you, and where you going at? And I, I think some people wake up to being like, fuck, I got to do something today. 
And then when they when they learn that, that's when we start seeing some of the shit that we like. This nigga forty something years old doing this. I'm trying to figure it out, bro, because what I once did, that shit ain't paying no more. I'm trying to create a new avenue, a new a stream of revenue. And I'm I am i am a baby in this right now. When you looking like you too old to be a baby at this stage. No, I'm with that. But I'm a baby in this industry of what I'm trying to get involved with. So that's why I can look degrading and, and this nigga a clown and this nigga stupid sometimes because some of the shit that I was trying to pursue just 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 what it, it ain't no more. It ain't it ain't what I need to be doing. I need to be trying something else. Like, you know, and, and niggas are trying to figure it out fast. So when you're trying to figure something out fast, you're gonna look clownish to a lot of people because First of all, you have no direction, no structure. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're just trying to make something happen. And off a little traction, you're trying to build from there. So I get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make excuse for nobody. I'm just trying to be a realist on the side of, like, shit happens like this in life. Right, right, right. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, brother, it's like I'd rather be a real nobody than a fake somebody. Me too. And, and, and yeah, that's, that's just that's how real talk. That, that was really, you know the that was the realest thing right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be, you know, say it again because I, I I couldn't fix it. Man, I don't fucking know what and I say. You know I'm what trying man? to be a real. I rather I, I rather know what be a, I said it. I rather be a fake nobody. Or I rather be. I don't know what the fuck you said, but you said something that sounded real, and I was going with it. He didn't fuck my whole world. I went to sip a drink and say, say it again. <laughs> that <laughs> Yeah, we done fucked that one all the way. <laughs> but y'all got it. Y'all told us that. First time. That was real when you first said it. I knew it was real shit because I felt it right here. You know? That's some shit that stayed with a nigga. This old shit, old right. heads, dog. Right. You know what I'm saying? Come on. That shit that you were talking about. Yeah. Nigga's like, yeah, I'm from New Orleans, so you know I know it. I, I, I never it. heard that shit before. I'm from New Orleans. What like, the name of it was? What? This shit, old oh, oh boy said? I, I, I'm lost. Oh, you don't know what he said? I can't remember what, oh. what you're talking about. I've been drinking right now. You know what I'm saying? You got me in here on drink. You bring all this alcohol in here, and then you ask me questions about something that happened a year ago. I can't remember. I think it's a year ago. <laughs> yeah, man, because I told you, life just is one day for me, bro. <laughs> like It's just That'd how I life. feel. It's just be like, it's shit moving so fast in this day and time, bro. It just feel like it all run together. You know what I'm saying? I tell niggas, man, I take two naps. I'm back at work. But the day was yesterday. You know what I'm saying, bro? The day connected to yesterday. That's oh, how I that's feel. How I it's just all run like one line. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm lost on months and years at this day and time because the shit moving fast and it feel all the same. Like, you know, not the same, but it feel like it's just one an ongoing story that I can't detect. When is that? Oh, that was Monday? I, well, I be lost on days and months. and Because yeah. shit moving so fast. Something that feels like uh, two days ago or three days ago sometimes be two weeks ago that it happened. You know, some shit that I said that was a year ago, nigga, like, no, man, that was two months ago. Shit moving fast, bro. Right, so right. It, it, it's, a, it's a much different time we're in right now. And uh, I can't, you know, keep it all intact, in, in like, 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 chronicle, logical order, like, of, like, what happened, <laughs> when, and what day it happened. Hey, you, know I I, you know how I would tell you, like, sometimes, nigga, was, you know, Start missing the hood and you know the times that you had in the hood and shit. So you would just go pass through that. So you might see it, it, it's when a nigga miss the hood. Sometimes they gonna give a fuck who they see. Somebody you wouldn't even talk to. A nigga pull over. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Go to talk. A nigga talking for an hour. <laughs> nigga know when I was in this hood, bitch moving around. I would never talk to this nigga. Right. But right. nigga older, nigga don't give a fuck. Nigga see an old nigga on the side of the fucking road right. with the weed. Either. What's up? What's up, Mister Jack? Yeah, Nigga, How you been? Turn around, boy, nigga, get, the, get out the car and talk you talking to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> somebody else, time to pay. To yeah, once else. you see somebody way more important than Mister Jack, yeah, Mister Jack got a run. Yeah, that's how somebody, my eagle. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Mister about to smoke a blunt. Yeah, right. 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 So, nigga, say that's what happened because that's what the fuck I did. I stopped to talk to a nigga, and I saw another nigga that I, you know, I really, really get down with. Go by his house, fuck with him. So, nigga, in that bitch smoking about. About two hours in that bitch chilling, playing the game or whatever. Man, nigga, little nephew running there. Like, he just ran from the police. Got his tool and everything. I'm like, man, see, this is the reason. I don't, I don't even come around. this shit. You give you know? me a reminder. Yeah. Well, I don't really come around And no nigga more. be needing that reminder. <laughs> right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right. I was like, man, I can't get caught up like this. But after I leave, that's the first thing. Bitch, nigga was like, man, you nigga got scary, boy, ASAP. Yeah. Fuck with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> You don't want to go with just lit? Fuck that. It's on you. I'm smoking. You're good. You're good. Enjoy. You know what I'm Enjoy. It's your weed. Enjoy. Good, brother. I'm out of here, right? I ain't got time so, to play. Nigga, you know that 
I ain't even want to talk about. I know you. I know homie's still over there, so I ain't even want to call you. And what the woo was, I'm call you tomorrow. Like, oh, oh, oh. What the woo was, man? Man, this nigga talking about he got in touch with some niggas. Cause nigga talking about <laughs> man, fuck our dead grandma. Man, you serious? You got in touch with a nigga, cause, brother. You think I'm about to get in touch with a nigga that said fuck my dead grandma, brother? Wait. That she dead, you don't know her, and I'm going to go die for a person who dead. Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, bro. It's, res- it's disrespect. So, yeah. so, it's disrespect, so, so, but I'm not. No, so man. So look, 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 look what I'm going to say. A nigga spoke to me and told me some shit. I got on the show right now with Muhammad Ali, right? Real talk. So a nigga brought up the Muhammad Ali thing. He said... A nigga that still look through the eyes of a 20-year-old, if a nigga 50, and he's still looking through life through the lenses of him as 20 years old, he lost 30 years. So I'm saying all that to say this. I, I remember being a young nigga, and so many niggas fought over talking about their mom or their grandmother or their uh, individual, right? You know what I'm saying? Because... We, we we was trained as a young person, you let nobody talk about your people, especially like disrespect your people on no form of fashion. So some people with an immature mind that haven't grown to a certain level, I don't give a fuck how old it is. That means they have a lot of lost years if they haven't elevated to understand it. That's not important at this day and time. But some people still live in the lenses of a 20-year-old dude or a 19, 15-year-old dude when that meant the blatant most disrespect and I got to crash out behind it, right? So, you know, nigga see that as, as like, damn, man, nigga talked about my, 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 my dead mama, like, you know what I'm saying? I got to avenge that. And, like and they this. stand on that like that's that, a, bit, like, like to the next level, but they haven't matured. I'm, so, I'm saying as a kid, that that's I, felt, important. I felt this way as a kid. I'm not, I'm not about to fight no nigga for no spot your mama jokes and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, no, man, come on, I'm not. You know, you know, mainly when those jokes hurt, when niggas uh, run them jokes on some shit that's real. Like, niggas say, I spot your mama, blah, blah, we laugh, we laugh, we laugh. If your mama was on drugs and niggas say, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to get your crackhead mama to suck my dick. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. It's because it's, it's truthful. It can happen. You probably could get my mama to do blah 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 because she is on crack. See that 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 hit home a little different. It's past a joke. It's a joke to the public because my mama on crack don't mean she'll suck your dick. No, because some dudes feel like you know. I know a lot of crackheads that wouldn't suck a nigga dick. I, I, you're right, and I do know that. But if your mama was a crackhead that sucked dicks, that would hurt. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. If she was the yeah, one that you know, she she's thing. doing that. She did it to older men. You know, and, and the young, know no, no, that. listen what I'm saying. She did it to older niggas you that selling know drugs. She doing that. Listen, when we young, and you don't, because listen, children are, are cruel. <laughs> man, I heard your mama was sucking Mr. Johnny dick yesterday. Like, you know, niggas used to look in windows. Uh, <laughs> I come up a funny way, bro. Like, I remember looking at people. You know what I'm saying? People, we were looking like, like you go and take a bath, you know, looking in their bathroom and, you know, do, doing yeah, all kind of issues. Now, no, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I, I ain't even looking for a cosign because I have no problem with being who I was when I was young. If you didn't do it, you didn't do it. I didn't do that one. You didn't do it. I'm not, I'm not looking for you to say. Fact, 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 We fact, did it. Fact. You know what I'm saying? My days in Holly Grove, the whole nine, we, we ran. And, What's the wildest well, shit a nigga seen? What you mean? Oh, I saw a big motherfucker taking a bath. <laughs> a big motherfucker. Big motherfucker. Hey. A big motherfucker. Hey. And that bitch was sounding like... Whoosh. Like, it sounded like an ocean in the... Big girls always been attracted to me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> big motherfucker. I never walked with a big girl before. Right. I don't know why they be attracted to you me, know what? Dog. You know what I be thinking, though? It'd and I think big. that's a problem amongst a lot of men because I think big girls attracted to more people than people attracted directly to them. Not saying that big girls what? don't need to be... <laughs> Yeah. Be attracted no, to No, no, what you say, sir? I said, say it again. I think it sounded good when you said it. I said, it. I think more big girls attracted to more people because they are more attracted to the more people anyway because they're a big girl. I like him, I like him, I like him. So, you know, I just think that they wide open to the object because they want something anyway because they know they're a big girl, so they be having self issues and shit that they're dealing with for the most part. Not all, just some, you know, and I think they, they pick more people than. Slim or find a chicks that's more selective on, on they pick. I think big girls be like, you like me? I like you. 
You like me? I like you. You like me? I like you. I got a large like scope. <laughs> Give me some of that, bro. You need me hanging on. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Oh, this nigga stupid. Nigga said say it again. Oh, they say I got a large scope. Yeah, because you know they look like I'm, I'm open to whoever might like me. Anything. His eyes, old girl. His eyes. Because hey, I need love too. The way he walked. Yeah. I need love too, and I'm not gonna limit my shit to being a type. Anything could be my type if I got issues with myself. And that goes for not only big girls, big guys, whoever, anybody, anybody, ugly dudes, anybody that's insecure about whatever going on, they're more open or more, you know, like, you like me, I like you because I just need somebody to fuck like with me. me. Like, yeah, I to fuck with me. Like yeah, me. just fuck with me. I'm tired of motherfuckers not liking yeah, me. Yeah, passing on me. Don't pass. You like me? I take it. Yeah. <laughs> I take it because this, 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 the pickings is slim. Yeah, like among certain people, everybody like you know. I don't know what she was missing. The, the worst I'll thing I pick you, yeah. The worst thing that I, I I I've seen in life with 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 people is that people that had a potential. They they nice. They 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 really nice looking, but they don't believe that in themselves. And you be like, damn, that girl cold as a motherfucker. Why she? But her self esteem is still low. I don't know what happened in her life. I don't know what she might have dealt with. But whatever she's going through, she don't feel as pretty as she look. And other niggas see the value in her that she don't even see in herself. And you see her doing some degrading low shit to a level where you looking like. I never could understand that of it because, brother, I understand clearly what you're saying before I say this. Because I would think. The, the the impact that you getting will let you know the opposite of what you thinking or what right. you saying. Right. I'm so low, but the, when I hit these clubs and when I hit these streets, I can't stop niggas from. Oh, this all day. If I'm nice, this all day. Everywhere I go, everywhere I walk, I'm talking about grocery store, pump and gas, whatever a nigga look at and they see me, they hollering. So I can't see. How can I have low self esteem when all that shit is verifying that I'm that bitch? Well, you, you understand so, what I'm saying? Well, if you're a person that's been abused and fucked up and 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 and, and you lost your self esteem in a mix of something like as a child, like you know what I'm saying? Somebody took a, your shit right <laughs> No, 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 no. What it does is make everybody feel like the same way that the person that abused me. That's what y'all feel. You know what I'm saying? Because I was abused at an innocent age when I was a kid. And not me, myself, but I'm just, because the people take that shit. <laughs> ah, no diddy. Me in the rain. No he been fucked over. Not me. Oh, not me shit. at all. But I'm just saying, a person that, that have been abused somewhere in their life as a childhood, at, especially when they was innocent, when they didn't know about beauty, fine, cute, none of that, and was abused at some level, and an older person or whatever took advantage of them, when they get out in the world, you know, and be promiscuous among people, they feel like you... Maybe you looking at me the same way that the abuser looked at me. See, it's a mindset. You're like, I can't give you self-esteem. You got to have that within yourself. I could try to build your self-esteem to try to be like, you pretty, you pretty, like build you up to be like, where well, you can start seeing for yourself, oh, I am pretty, I am fine. I do got something going on for myself. I can kind of build, help build that on it, but it's on you to receive whatever and, and, and move accordingly off of being built from it. You know what I'm saying? So if a person is, is totally abused and they get out in the street and and, 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 and and this abuser say, girl, you're so pretty. You're fine. You know, so when dudes come on to us, see, damn, they're looking like you no different than the abuser. So I don't take it as... If a nigga got... As being... No, listen what I'm saying. I'm not taking it as you sincerely meaning what you mean. So my self-esteem is still low because even though when I was a child... You know what I'm saying? You took this away from me. You say the same thing with these dudes saying right now. It, it, it almost feel like you damn near the still or abuser coming at me. You only see, you don't know me. You see I'm fine. You see I'm pretty. That's the same dude. That's the same thing that the dude who abused me so. I was going to another level. No, though, I'm, too, not, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Come on, Tama. Let's be you real. Know, I'm saying no. That no, is true. No, what you're saying. Men say but you're that. going so deep with it, bro. Because I'm deep, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you like, like I'm a shallow minded. He shallow. <laughs> he shallow. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? C minor. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just trying to say, like, that's how deep shit go to the level where we don't see it. We don't see it in the girl. Be like, damn, bro, why you don't you don't think you pretty? You don't think you so, fine? You man, don't think? 
Oh, you think a bitch worried about an abuser when 25 niggas man. talking to him a day? Talk to an abuser. Talk to an hey. abuser. Hey, hey, but no, but check this out. Because I was going to rebuttal that with the, just the opposite thing, the yeah. opposite sex. So you tell me if I'm a nigga and I got molested when I was six years old from a woman who took advantage of me. Boy, when all these hoes on me, when I go to the club and be thinking about that, it's not still saying, I'm the shit. No. When these bitches on me, boy, I'm saying I'm the shit. You think I'm like, man, they might see the same thing that that lady who seen when it was when I was five. But Fuck see, no. well, what I'm happens? Like, I'm the what, shit. what happens is you disrespect women to the next level off of that. Fuck a hoe, and you fuck all of them and you treat all of them like hoes because you still you still suffering from the same abuse. You took it as a way of like, damn me, all right, this happened to me, it felt funny, woo woo, and she liked it me. And now when you get out there, you start fucking with all these women. You start treating all of them like, bitch, you don't mean nothing to me because I've been abused. I I wasn't even uh, taught right. No, but you treat a woman. I'm saying from no. the same perspective you gave the woman. I, no, I'm just saying I know why men. Feel the way that they feel because egos get boosted on no, one I'm level. So I'm just saying, why the man ain't feeling exactly how? Because you said about the woman. When some women feel violated when they've been driven in two, men don't. When a man been, he might have feel violated to a degree, but if you know, like it, it kind of like the violation. But it can boost he his ego. The but it can boost his <laughs> he ego. Like the violation. Yes. Oh, some of them like it. <laughs> Some women start liking it too and, and, and be promiscuous and fuck with a lot of people be, and they become, uh, uh, what they call it? We're going to get back. What's the word with the women that have sex? <laughs> we got to uh, take that back. Nymphos. <laughs> they become nymphos because they've been, uh, they've been introduced to sex so early and then talk liking it into sex so they become nymphos that, like, listen, I got a lot, a, a lot of drive that need to be taken care of so I fuck <laughs> and I don't give a fuck about niggas because... You know, I had no feeling from that part. You know what I'm saying? But the only thing that if it did feel good to them, they take it. There's, there's a pro and con to all kind of shit, and people use it the way that they use it. I'm just trying to say some dudes that have been abused from youngsters, bro, be womanizers as they get older because they never was taught how to treat a woman. They look at women as a piece of meat the same way you that deep, they brother. felt like somebody you made see, me yeah. feel like a piece of meat. Yeah, you deep, brother. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all need counseling? They said they came in for podcast medicine. Dude. Talk your shit, man. Let's you deep, you deep, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I might be helping somebody out there, bro. I'm being real, bro. I might be helping somebody. Somebody. Yeah, man, what the fuck is me to talk about? Oh, shit. Yeah, you always going to make me look like... I don't know where he was. I don't know where he was at. They say that. Yeah, what you ask him? That, yeah. That part, the abuse. Now you know, though. Now you know. <laughs> Now you know. <laughs> Look at me. You say you just don't do a sad. You say, nigga. Time nigga, listen. Nigga, listen, nigga, listen if you're starting over, you're starting over. Bro. Like, come on, bro. We like, just you know over. what you're talking about. It started over, so we starting yeah, over. Man, start over. start over. Just start over, brother. You were saying I'm saying that your partner the, shouldn't start no no you were saying starting over with the one you start over you got all the money in the world you start yeah, over with the start yeah, so, with the so one listen, you love. You can start all over with you know all the money in the world but it's if if it's without the woman that you love or the person that you love I ain't going to even just say man or woman but well, the emotional. person that's called emotionally scarred. Scarred nigga I'm in love. I don't even understand it's a scar yet. <laughs> the scars come way after You know what I'm saying Like cause we, we still in love So if I just leave you And I'm trying to start over with my life You know what I'm saying That shit is uncomfortable to a level where When you used to somebody And used to routines Because we are uh, creatures by habit So we get caught up in routines And things that we it's are accustomed to Be normal Yeah and we, we, we get accustomed to that So we're being accustomed to that When I got to go to a new spot. It could be the, the nicest house, the biggest house, whatever may be. The, but listen, oh, no. a house is not a home without with you right. the, the love that you need in it, bro. Come on, bro. You want me to go back on some old right. 70s type shit, some Luther Vandross shit? A house is not a home. A house is not a home. You talking, but you ain't saying When there's no nothing. one there. You talking, but you ain't saying nothing. To turn you know the saying? key. Oh, we be there. Yeah. I say. You're running, but you ain't moving. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't going nowhere. Don't <laughs> be stupid, man. Don't stop playing with you. Where we at, man? Come on, talking, but you ain't saying nothing, right? Yeah, you know, so man. yeah, you know, like 
It's easily said. So even if your partner says certain things, but you got to watch your partners that ain't really for you, the, the happiness of you wholeheartedly, and they want you for self because they got some selfish partners. They're not gay. No, they, 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 they're not with the gay shit. They're just unhappy. And it's the misery that loves company of being like, I'm not happy with my life, so... Come join me so you can be unhappy <laughs> with your life. And that we can be unhappy together and talk about this it's shit. There's a lot of people like that for sure. And we can talk about that shit. We can have a lot of conversation. We could damn near do a podcast on how unhappy we are together. <laughs> you you uh, see what I'm saying? And it be having some people who just, the real shit that they tell you, it just don't align with you going back home. And that's. So it don't be that nigga just trying to tell you stay out the house. If you got a partner and you want him to be there for you and he put to tell you real shit, the real shit he telling you might don't agree with you going back home. But, don't mean that you don't got to go back home or he not giving you but, no... But, but even when it aligned to... I, I haven't been in agreements with people that in their relationships like, man, really, you know, I look at you, that's some duck shit. Like when you, you explain to me what happened, I'm like... She playing on you, you know, real talk. Right. But after the talk about, I'm going to expound on you as a partner, she playing on you, bro. Yeah, see, that's well, that, 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 We're going to do that. But at the end of that, I'm like, well, listen, bro, if that's where you want to be, regardless of what I feel or what I say, you got to go where your heart at, bro, because you're not going to be happy with... Well, we can say that without even giving our woo to the no, person No, you try to give it to him to be like... Because it's still going to... No, the, because he might align with what I'm saying, and he might see it. My perspective might mean all in because he could no. I I do feel like a duck. A duck feels like a duck when he's a duck, bro. Like you know, regardless to what we may think or see, a nigga know like man, I'm playing stupid for this bro right now. I'm I'm really being stupid. Right. I know I'm being. When you're stupid. a duck, you know you're a duck. Yeah. So when he's talking to his partner and he tell him his partner tell him you're a duck, he already know that. You just confirm what I already feel. Right. And, and and sometimes when people get you in line, out, my nigga. when sometimes people get in line with, that's how I feel, and you see it too, and they stand on it because they know you're right. I know that's what I felt, but I wasn't really sure. <laughs> I thought maybe I probably Shit. was tripping a little bit. Love I, I, power I being a duck, my nigga. What? Love be overpowering being a duck. Nigga, know they're a duck. Because like you saying, you, like you, you getting that clear, yeah, you is a duck, my nigga. What you got to do with your heart? Yeah, well, your heart going to tell you be a duck and go Well, back. be a duck because, listen what I'm saying. If you don't be a duck and you move on and you're totally unhappy and you and this all you think about, this the person you want to be with. So it was worth being a duck. You try with other girls. They don't satisfy that. Right. You still you just got, unhappy. You, you, yeah, you duck. Go be a duck, go bro. Duck, you duck standing. Right. You duck. You're, you're a duck and... Just be a duck. You got to live with being a duck. Man, live with being a duck. Just be a duck and be happy with being a duck. They got some, they got a lot of duck motherfuckers out here that's just happy being a duck. They know they're a duck and they cool with being a duck and and, and being a duck makes me happy. (laughs) At the end of the day, she coming home with me. That's what the woman feel. No, the nigga. At the end of the day, she coming home with me. So I don't matter what she do. What I hear she did, what she doing, at the end of the day, you coming home with me. Look at him, bro. I've told niggas multiple, multiple times, this is a rule when we podcast. And I think the nigga that's answering the phone said, make sure y'all got your phone on silent. Oh, oh, look, look who it's from. No, oh, man, I got personal important. Oh, this nigga I'm talking about nothing. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about, bro. Stop it, man. Come on, bro. Hey. Yeah, man, that overpower, nigga. Boy, shit. No, indeed. A, 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 a nigga, a no, that they being a duck. See, it all depends and, on, yeah, it all depends on what the fuck this shit be. When a nigga call you, you know how a nigga running, man, what the fuck, man, come get me. Yeah, man, what the fuck, man, you That's know, what I'm about to tell him. It's duck levels, bro. It got yeah, duck, it's, duck it's levels, duck bro. Shit. So I'm everything tell you, everything got levels. Yeah, everything got levels. levels. Yeah, you can't see your you can't, you can't see your girl getting <laughs> bad when, when it's and minor. Then, and you can't see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But they yeah. got major that's what, duck. that's what I'm trying to tell you. You can't see your girl getting bad and then me mean and saying, "Man, yeah, man, don't you a duck?" But then the day I ain't even about to give tell, tell the nigga no shit like that. That yeah. your option, but go where your heart at. Yeah. Nah, nigga, you a duck, man. You see this whole getting that back blew out. You look through the window. You peep through the woo. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you saw. Know what I'm you saying? did me when yeah. I was yeah. He was twelve years old. You seen. Yeah, you, know you seen what I seen. You seen. 
Is nigga me to I'm tell you been told be a duck and go back. No, me and I'm not telling you be a duck and go back. I say if you can't live without. I say no, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck say what that. I say, brother. Do what's best for you. I fuck with you regardless if you're gonna be a duck or a real nigga or whatever kind of person that you want to put in it. I fuck with you, brother, because I like you for the reason I like you. I don't like you because of the old lady you got. Uh, you know, that's not why I'm your partner. I'm not your partner because you tender. That's not my thing. Right. I fuck with you because you was a stand-up nigga with me. <laughs> you, when shit got real, you was there. Right. When I needed you, you I, I can count on you. See, there's levels to why you're my friend. But so I don't have nothing to do with... Friend and, cause so a nigga be a real friend and a duck. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Bro, they got a lot of them because that's why people be saying... I'm not in your bedroom, bro. Like, whatever going on in your bedroom is your thing. However you do, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever may be the case, you know what I'm saying? But I fuck with you because I have solid you as with me. And that's what I deal with you from. Yeah. I ain't dealing with you from the person you choose or the way you rock with him, you know? Yeah, bro, just go back home. You saw her getting her back blowed out, just go back home. No, I'm never telling him to go back. Basically. Listen, I'm not saying that, bro. I'm saying, listen, dude. <laughs> you saw her getting her back blowed out. You saw the whoop. You saw, and she enjoyed it. It looked like she was enjoying it, right? To you. That's what you told me. I say, but you still sad. And you still saying, I'm missing. I won't be yeah. with her. Don't keep, I don't want to hear that yeah. shit no more. Go back. Listen, go, all right, just go all right. back home. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear, I gave you all the real. Right. I said it up front, man. Don't fuck with that old shit. Down bad. You move yeah, on. I said that first. And then you don't want to do that. Listen, bro, I'm going to make it easy on me and you. I don't want to hear that shit no more. So whatever nigga come to you telling me like, man, this the problem I got, man. My girl, she ain't cheating on me, but it's personal. You know what I'm saying? I met her. We got serious. Woo, woo, woo. And she got another nigga named tatted on it from a previous relationship. Even if it was the last one or two, three ones ago. And I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she got Matt right here. So every time I suck her titties and raise my head, I'm saying Matt you. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like it. And nigga I'm coming it. to you so, with advice. So when, she, advice. So when she wears a, a shirt that, that show her clean. Niggas calling me Mac. Nigga calling you Mac. Hey, Mac, you. <laughs> I thought that was a girl. Was Fuck Matthew. no, man. Right. That's a nigga I just beat up. Stupid right, ass right, right. nigga. <laughs> I, beat, I hate this nigga. Hate Mac, you. Don't right. you ever. But nigga calling you Mac, beat you. I'm about to fight you. Yeah, don't you ever call me Mac, you. <laughs> right, right, right. So. Give me your question. I mean, I'm. I'm, I'm so know. should a nigga be nigga telling you like, I don't like that? I don't like that. My chick got her ex relationship boyfriend's tattoo on her body. I, she with me now, and if she she don't want to cover it up. You can't live with it. I can't live with it. She don't want to cover leave it. Leave her up. alone. Plain and simple. I can't live with that. It, it, it's, can't it's live one, without it. It's a deal break. Listen. How you can't live without it, but you can't live with that? Is listen, like we we playing something right here. I can't live without it, but I can't live with that. What's overpowering? Where we at? We we doing yeah, this? Got to weigh it out, huh? Where's that? Yeah. So either you gonna eventually be like, "Fuck Matthew," that's what you want to do. I fuck with you. I fuck with Matthew. I'm going because <laughs> I fuck with Matthew. Because it's, it's, it's exactly niggas right. calling me Matthew, yeah. and I'm cool with that. But you put you gotta up a, get to a level. Putting up a fight, so but I can't deal with. I could deal with if you Matthew, fighting over Matthew I, like I, that. I, I could deal with Matthew, okay, but it ain't no big deal. But what it's a big deal is you putting up a fight with me while you can't get it covered up. See, that's fucking with my head. You see what I'm saying? Like you putting up a fight, you giving me all these reasons. That's old. Don't worry about that. Yes. But my personal woo, my personal how I feel, I don't give a fuck about that. Right. But if you pay, you know, if, if it was a problem that you really had and you was willing, you know, the girl be like, you want me to get it covered up, but are you going to pay for it? Would you pay for it? Yeah, if I want to cover it up, I'll pay for it. Right. And, and that's, the, that's the big thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, but not if, paying but for it. But if my girl you. arguing... That even if I'm willing to pay for it, and you still you still not gonna do it. I can't. I, it look like your heart is with Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> you Matthew so all the way. I'm gonna let you go ahead and be with Matthew because evidently you covering up Matthew is a problem. It didn't stop you from. It shouldn't stop talking the, to me though. No, because I wasn't worrying about Matthew until I noticed Matthew. See, I was looking at your face, your ass, your legs. 
The way you it's was under grown. my clothes. If I only take my clothes off, only times you can see this. Ain't like ain't nobody seeing this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I see it. I see it because them clothes come off when you deal with me, and I don't want to be licking on them titties, Bad. and I see Matt. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see that. I I don't want to be a reminder that Matthew was once there. Even if I knew Matthew was there, I don't want to be reminded that Matthew so is look, there every time I suck on your titties. Right. So look, that should be that should be done boyfriend and girlfriend or like when marriage she comes. Oh, that's boyfriend and girlfriend. I think yeah, it wouldn't even be a marriage. A Listen, it wouldn't even be a marriage. Yeah, we marriage. probably wouldn't that's even be I'm boyfriend saying. and girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. Before Matthew covered up. So just for, for y'all me, fuck around together. For me. I go hard on just it. Just for y'all like, fuck around together, she got to cover that up. I mean, no, no, no. But if we about to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, I'm saying. So, you know, no, know. no. We fucking around. And you say, you know, I like you. I really like you, man. I'm thinking about taking it serious. Like, you know, we, you know. Shit, you saying it right there you. I'm be like, well, listen. I, I'm thinking about being with you because I really like you. The conversation good. The sex good. We, we having it. a good time. Good vibe. I say, but listen. The only part of my gut is the math you on your chest. It's so big and bold. Listen, oh, ain't nobody. I want he ain't nobody. Or but it, but listen, I love you. I like you. I love you because usually when you're going even into the boyfriend stage, you feel like you love him. Even if it's infatuation, you feel like I love him. And you might like, say, "I know what type of dude you is. You controlling? And I, we I'm not controlling. Listen, I, I, it seems like you controlling. I'm not controlling love. I just don't like to look at your past in my face every time I'm trying to. Everybody Make love to you. <laughs> I know, listen. They're going to keep saying shit. I know you have a past. I'm not arguing that you had a past. I just don't want to see the past in my present. So, so, so with the, the past time, is in my gonna, present right, right now because every time I look at you, I see Matthew, biggest cuff on your chest, like a Superman sign, and it's bothering me. You got to grow up. Well, well I, you know what? You got to grow up. I do. <laughs> You're right. I need to grow up. I'm going to leave you alone. And I'm just going to move on because I see that this means more to you than I mean to you. Because it's all about what no, you value. I'm telling you, you might listen, be controlling you. Listen, I'm not controlling. It's about what, what you value. We're talking about values right now. If this don't mean nothing to you, how much I value. they're going to hit you with that, what you said, Tama. I see if you were, I see if I was your wife, Mike. Yeah, you, I'm thinking about you. But we can't even you. get there because you. Listen, yeah. I'm thinking about yeah, you being my no wife. But you can oh. never <laughs> listen. You can never be my wife with a Matthew <laughs> spread across your chest. You can't be girlfriend. To even you get better can't even be my girlfriend with it because I'm trying to deal with it in a mix of I want you to be my girlfriend before I even could think of you being my wife. But would you even being close to being my girlfriend right. if we're gonna go that route? The Matthew got to go. And I'm willing to pay for the Matthew to get covered because I understand Matthew was your past. That's who you love. You, you profess your love to him. You put that bitch bold across your chest big. And I'm willing to cover that shit up. And Matthew, she, 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 she talked to Matthew on the side without you knowing. And Man, I, no, like, look, like you want extra. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. If it's talk, all that, she talked to Matthew. I'm leaving her alone. <laughs> look, she talked to Matthew on the side without a nigga doing it. Yeah. And she telling Matthew that you want her to get... His shit covered, covered up. And Matthew said, Tell me, nigga, that is. That's the past. Yeah. He, 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 he fucking with well. yeah. 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 up. Tell me, nigga, you got it. That's the past. Come on, he come insecure. On, man. He insecure. He's going to hit him with the insecure. He, he insecure, man. You, and then you go fuck with her. You know how to pick him. You sure know how to pick him. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. What type well, of word like about I, Like that? I said, if Matthew have that type of effect on a woman that I'm trying to move forward with. You don't know. <laughs> I, no. Yeah. Listen. listen. Matthew I don't know. Listen. You know how I do know? You know how I do know? From her, from her being from a defense her fucking so much. Action. Her actions is showing me. Yeah, where you stand? Why she can't get a piece, yeah, where it stand? Like like so I don't have to know that you're talking to like Matthew. You I don't know. I have to know that Matthew's saying what kind of nigga you fucking with. But your resistance toward what know. I'm saying, yeah, I said. think you need to be with Matthew. Why you can't give it a cover up? Right. You know what I'm saying? What do you worry about? That's I would leave cool. it to that. Yeah. I would leave it because I got my own thing off my own question, and I'm gonna make my own. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get my own conclusion. They gonna have people saying that don't. Term what type of girl she is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She just don't want to get it covered up. You should listen, be able to live with okay, that. That's, that's, not, that's, too, that's not the listen, that's for life. It don't have to be for life, but you know, it's on you. It's embedded, like unless you can get it removed. You love her, she love you. Don't worry about no tattoo, man. No, I'm not well I'm not 
I'm not that mature then. I, and I'll be that. I'll be anything that people want me to be. <laughs> and she don't get this bitch covered up. And she don't get it covered up. I don't give a fuck you what go. your judgment is on why I feel like I feel. I don't like it. And I'm going to speak on what I don't like. And if you're not willing to change what I don't like, then that might be a deal breaker for me and you. Is a nigga, gonna, if a, is a nigga having thoughts here and there like, man, I lost my fucking girl behind the stupid ass. She was a good girl, man. Well, he, he's stupid. <laughs> he's stupid Cause Cause He's stupid bro Like because You gonna always You gonna foreverly Be unhappy With a nigga named Matthew Cross her chest You gonna foreverly That's a word Yeah it is. Foreverly Foreverly Mad Because This bitch don't wanna cover it up for Everly just being For Everly. eternity. I'm talking about in good times. We having a good time. She's dancing uh, a chess show. Yeah. Matthew show up. I'm mad. Yeah. Yeah. We was having a good time until I seen the Matthew. Yeah. Every time I make love to you, I gotta see Matthew. So on what time? On what time? Man, on I what can't number of hooking up? You know, a nigga fucking with a chick. She knew. Boom. What number of hooking up do you do the tattoo check? When I'm getting serious. The first time, second time. <laughs> no, no, no. Right, only serious, when I'm third. getting serious. So <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, that nigga won't see you. What's your name? Listen, 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 wholeheartedly, listen, wholeheartedly, listen, wholeheartedly, when I see the Matthew, I am thinking. Right then and there. Right then and there. <laughs> but I can't speak on that because we ain't got nothing going on. So but in my mind, so I am thinking, think like, this guy, Matthew oh, just got me yeah. crazy. I mean, I see you know. fuck with a nigga named Matthew yeah. for real. Yeah, Matthew Teddy. You need to get Mike. List. You need to get Mike on your face. You drew blood for Matthew. <laughs> you need to get Mike on your face. Yeah, you know, <laughs> if you're gonna keep the Matthew, you got to get Mike somewhere so bold. So nigga, yeah, cool with that? I ain't even cool keep with, that. with that. Even if you get the mic, I'm gonna I'm 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 convince you to get the mic, and then still argue about the Matthew. Check it out. So bold. I promise you, that's so, me. So. I mean, it feels good. Worse. Matthew so, ain't even a baby daddy. That so, if ever, <laughs> so, 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 like him. so, dude, so a chick that got your name on it when you were messing with her when he was teens. You do whatever do you matter? want. Do that matter to her? It don't nigga? matter to me. Do whatever you want. Can't believe that bitch did this. I'm not with you. I know. I don't care. I'm not with you. I really, when I'm over you, I'm over you, bro. Like, I, it's no attachments after that. It's like. Nigga, nigga, don't want, nigga, nigga don't want the name tag gone. Man, they can do whatever they want. I swear to God. That's, that's me, really me. Like, real me, I'd be looking like, I wouldn't give a fuck what happened to you. Why I don't you, want you, you to die. Like, why you got that? Why you even got that? What? My name. That's how you feel? No, like, I'm proud of my that? name. I'm proud. <laughs> I'm proud. My chest poked out. Bitch got me. Yeah, the but tag. I, but when I ain't messing with it no more. It don't even matter. It don't even matter to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Real talk. I don't care if you got it covered. I, I'm not even looking to see if it's covered. I, or trying to look up my name. I, I don't give a fuck about that. Initials? Man. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? If she just got Matt, just M. You ain't got I can live M with Matt. I could probably live with the M. Yeah, oh! yeah you can do the M. Because... That's my cousin name. I can, I, <laughs> that's me. That's me. My name is Michael. That's I'm Mina. Mina. That's yeah, that's Mina. That's Mina. 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 Oh. I'm going to re... I'm going to make that abbreviation mean something different. Yeah, every time. And my, you know, I ain't really hold on abbreviations. I will probably still feel... And I will probably ask you get that cover. M-W. But if she can't that's go nigga, hard... That's a nigga. Listen, first, last. last. She can't go hard on it. She can't go hard about... Covering up the abbreviation. She got to be like, I don't like that shit. And, da, 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 da. and then when I come, and, and just knowing that she don't feel a certain way about it and she don't care, when I feel like it or when I come around to it and say, look, I want paper to get that covered up, then I'll do it because I know she's open to getting it covered. But if she going super hard even over them initials and if I told her I had a problem, like hypothetically saying, I, what if I had a problem with you having, I would, I, no matter what you say, uh, I'm not getting this cup. Yeah, yeah, out of here. Yeah, out of here. Yeah, out of here. What if the nigga been dead seven years and that's her favorite tattoo? Okay. Been dead. Let's find a new favorite. Her child daddy. Her child daddy? Yeah, okay, her child daddy. Hold on, child daddy. Always, you know, he dead. Yeah, yeah. Abbreviations? No, Matthew. Man. <laughs> no. He dead seven years. He been he a dead. While. Listen, I but can't live with that. One. I can't live with that one. My son, daddy, dead, man. I can't live with that one. But is it, if it's an initial somewhere, pictures around the house, 
No mad you. No, no pictures ain't gonna be <laughs> my son daddy. Yeah, you gotta remember me in your mind. <laughs> you gotta have him That's in your head. That's your memory. No, I don't want I, it to be. I'm looking through my mail. I'm looking through my mail through the drawers, and I flip it through back to all this bitch. <laughs> listen, what you all, listen, the, listen. All that could be in your too. archive of what you do in your personal space. But not around my house. Framed when I'm up. walking to the bathroom, framed I see up. Matthew framed <laughs> with Matthew. Nah, that's I can't do that. I, you get your, Matthew got to come down. Get with him. One. That's my son last picture with him. Just to be respectful of the kid. It, now. Listen, it could be, it could be him and his one dad. Picture. It could be him and his dad. It's coming down. You know why? Because I am if the role of the daddy. I'm financing you. I'm paying for you. I'm taking care of you. He's dead. But listen. The, the, the day got to be in your own personal space. Your little room. If if the son got a picture of him and his dad in the room, I respect that. Yeah. But my That's wife right. can't have a picture of you and your daddy or you and you. Right. Because that's of the past. Your daddy to you ain't never the past with you. And I understand that and I respect that. But I can't have the wife still reminiscing off of the Listen. You look over there to her. She's go standing, die she's with standing, me. Listen. She's standing over there. Go <laughs> die with Matthew. He look over, you look over there across the bed. She's standing at the picture of, of Matthew and her No. Son. You know what I have a problem with? Matthew's staring at me. Oh, shit. I see you, nigga. In the house. When I walk. Pictures he looking. I would tolerate that shit. Can you live in the same house on that match you stayed in? I probably could. I ain't gonna lie. I oh, leaving that man bed, same bed. I, I, I probably could. Same bed. I probably, probably could. Man. I'm really being real because I ain't really spooked on all that. And I just be like, well, no, I ain't saying dead. No, no, he's dead. No, I ain't saying dead. You say dead. I'm right? saying dead or not. Know, I'm just saying Can you live in the, the same match. house? Well, well, nigga used to live. Well, I would start off probably if that's. Was the Boy, situation re- I was in? Trying to remodel. Everything. No, listen. I need my look. Listen, got it red. I need the color that gonna match my soul. You probably will have to change all <laughs> that. Me. Listen. Oh shit. But listen, as a man, listen, we, listen, that, 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 listen. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This goes down to where your luck at. If I came in on bad luck, <laughs> what he said? I, I missed it, baby. Y'all laughing too hard. I came <laughs> to get my punter call. What you say, that's bro? That's nigga be. Nigga be in that bitch when it don't feel like nothing like, uh, like that. This shit, like it feel like that. That's what they were saying, dog. I'm like, man, no, this your house. We tell the show that. You know, it's your shit. I feel like me and this bitch feel like you and Matthew still in this motherfucker. Right. So that one nigga got to fix it up to the old shit. Nigga, the color to go with my, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my spirit. Yeah. Right. I, I, you know, and all those things may play a part. I, like, you know, I, I will probably say let's paint it up, let's change it up, things of that nature, but. The ultimate goal in me as being a man I am, I will be more like, you know, we here for a moment, but, you know, my mission is, and, and, and it goes back to where I'm at on my luck. If I'm down on my luck and I'm, 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 I have to live here yeah. to come up. We'll renovate some shit. We're going to work through that because I'm, it's still survival. I'm up, man. I need to survive. But I need I'm a place up, to live. I need you right now, man. I need you. <laughs> but if I'm up. No but if I'm up. We not even living here no more. Upper room. We, yeah, we not living here no more. We gonna sell this house that you with, with your ex husband or boyfriend or whatever, my baby memory. daddy, however what it was. It's cool, but we gonna and, and if we gonna unite and come together, then we are gonna move here because it's a fresh start for both of us. We gonna yeah, just we gonna end all the baggage, yeah. all the bullshit that come with shit. We gonna move on for me and you. Check this out. What you doing in this situation? All right. So well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say us. Let me just say this is a real situation that happened. It was a nigga in jail, right? And his old lady, when he went to jail, that was the chick that he could count on, you know what I'm saying? She was looking out for him. She was looking out for him. But he had all type of properties and all type of, you know, money and shit while he in jail. So he he he, he put it all in her name. You know what okay. I'm saying? And uh, you know, as as his jokes and shit, he wind up getting out, but she the chick wind up getting married, being married when he came home. You dig? And then the chick that she married and miss the dude, uh, the chick married and the miss him coming on, they had a divorce. So they had to split half of what was in her name. So the boyfriend got half of your woo. So probably got full complexes that was from you, but you, you had in short in name. But she got married, and they got a divorce, and now them full complexes that you had when you got out of jail, they for homie. Damn. Okay. And you don't have nothing. Technicality. Tech. Technicality. I don't like it, 
but under the technicality of how shit <coughs> fall, that's how it went. And well, I'll be, I, don't, I, I can't do listen, nothing. I will be high, but I can't do nothing. So I, listen, as being a mature man, <laughs> <laughs> as being a mature man, I would, I, I would have to deal with it accordingly, accordingly to what it actually is. Right. Yeah. Well, that's what I would have to deal with. Yeah. 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 Uh, due to the technicality that what happened and uh, how shit went, that's how it fell and do it, and it just came up on that, and that's what it is. Not happy about it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I would have to respect that because I can't flash out because even if I flash out or do whatever, I'm going to end up in jail. Dude ain't still lose whatever unless I killed him. You see what I'm saying? And then that's still the inheritance of what he had fall onto his his heirs, his kids. That's rough because you you, you put all that in her name. She was solid. And she wound up getting married. You know how that shit goes with divorce. And nigga just came up on that. That is a strong situation to be in. That, that shit that happened. That, that you know, much, and that shit that, that, that happened. Shit and, you know, we got, we got to go all the way back to the root of what happened. It's my fault. I went to jail. I forfeited whatever... In a position of what, it, what I had. I didn't have it secure. I didn't have a prenup. I didn't have no yeah. paperwork in line to, to, to organize it a certain kind of way. So, it's, you know, I, I got to take my own lick on my actions. Whatever I did to get me in jail, that's what forfeited what I got going on in that situation. The girl not supposed to be stuck with me in jail. If she move on with her life, that's what it is. I know she was silent. I know she was down. I know the reason why I put it in her name. I know why I was doing what I had to do. And as I reflect on it, I got to be like. You got to be a, what you call this, a man, good nigga, real nigga, or just fuck that. If homie was on some shit and told the, told the nigga who the property was for when he got out of jail, man, I know how I got, I got this shit through the marriage, woo, 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 and it's your shit. So what that is? That's, fuck that nigga ain't doing that. That's a good nigga, real nigga, man. A uh, nigga just fuck that niggas ain't doing that. Niggas ain't doing that. Niggas ain't doing that. Ain't doing that. Ain't doing that. For the most part, niggas ain't doing that. Nigga, I, I understand how listen, I got it, brother. Nigga would have to be listen. This this all all for nigga all for nigga doing that. This 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 my assumption of how That's they come up with right that. Thing. It comes up like this. I'm good in my life. I got everything. I'm 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 I'm, I'm good with money. And I didn't have a problem with you. I have respect for you. You don't even know him. No, yeah. but listen, oh, even do. if I know. So even if I don't know him, but just knowing the situation. I know what you did, brother. I know that's your shit. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Man, I'm going to sign that back off to you. Because I, I don't need what you got. I really don't need it. And I ain't trying to fuck over you. You ain't never did me nothing. I don't even have a problem with you. I know I inherit this off the marriage or whatever. But overall, I'm good. I don't really need what you got, bro. You know what I'm saying? And if you approach me, because it comes with an approach. It comes with like, damn, bro, you know, well, listen, you know, I hear right. you. I feel you, bro. And you know what? What I need to do? Sign off to give that shit back to you? You got it, bro. Yeah, I'm, I, You know, I don't got no problem with you. And, I, and, and you're right. It did come to me that way. And I understand everything you're saying. As a real nigga in me, and I'm good in my own life. You heard me say I'm good in yeah, my own life. Yeah, you gotta be. That's the key word. Yeah, I'm be. good in my own life. You nigga, fucked up. Yo, fuck. I got if I'm fucked up, yo, man. Fuck that's that. my blessing. But you got a hundred. That's called a blessing to me. You got something on this. You want pay? You want buy it? You want buy it out for me? You want buy yeah. me out? Because I'm hurting, so I'm only using nigga the situation as shit. leverage. I'm only using the situation. Nigga, gonna be on some street shit. This nigga, come on, man. Nigga ain't going for that. Nigga want me to buy back my shit? Hey, bro. I, I ain't held it. Well, See, I'm on, I'm down on my luck. Right. So, it's, nigga, it's, everything is different. Because <laughs> I'm looking at it as a blessing. I was blessed with this. Fuck that. So, all my blessing, if you want to buy my blessing out to bless me continuously, to do I don't whatever. even know you, brother. I don't. I don't, I don't owe you nothing. I don't owe you nothing. I don't, owe you I don't, nothing. Owe you I don't even know you. Right. So that that's your argument. But ultimately, it's because I don't have nothing anyway. And I need this. Yeah. So you talking about taking this from me? Right. Nigga, we about to, what? I'm about to go down with this. this. I'm going down for that because right. this is all I got. I so happened came up. It was my Mac. Yeah. It was it was who I was that put me in a yeah. position to do what I'm doing. This is the only who I got. Man, this man, man, man. I'm about to give it to you because you got came with some real nigga side shit. story, real nigga shit. Call me a fake nigga then. Because I'm going to be fake right now on survival or what I need to be. That's why I say that, that real nigga shit is subjective overall, too. Because niggas be real according to the situation. 
I think most niggas. See I what still, I'm saying? Niggas yeah. be real according to the situation because your real might not be my real according to how I feel about the situation. No, I, I, I could be saying, man, I was fake what you did. But in your heart, it was real because, nigga, I love her. You don't. Right, right. You right. saying I tripped out over a hoe. To you, as a hoe. To me, that's my love of my life. Right. So if I bashed the nigga or did whatever I did behind the one I love, you can't tell me nothing no different because you don't know how I feel about her. You can only tell me what you would have did if you, and that don't equate to me because right. that don't be me. Yeah, that's not what it is. That's not what it is it's with me. me. <laughs> it's me. And I'm about to go hard yeah. all the way. I'm about to crash out behind yeah. this. Behind you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. You call her a hoe. That's what you call it. That's not a hoe to yeah, me. That's, that's my love. That's uh, my heartbeat. That's my life. My shadow. That's what I live for. Soul. That's why I breathe. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. You got niggas that talk like that. Facts. These niggas got fact, poetry fact, in their life. Fact, fact, fact. These niggas speaking from poetry. Every beat of my heart is every step she take. Oh, <laughs> you know, you got niggas talking like yeah. that. But don't fuck with him. Really don't get real. in the middle of him. Because it, is that real? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Been fucking with her for a while. <laughs> right. Uh, hey, listen, that's listen. Some real shit, though. You going to Essence this weekend? You taking your 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 your, your, your you know significant other to Essence? I'm going to Essence with Bird, man. Man, you know what significant other means? I think, I think you know what significant other means. I know what significant <laughs> other means. What? what? You better have sign if I can't. Yeah, that that's that 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 yeah. that, that, that equate. Trying to get to the call, I can't get it. You sign if, if I, I can't. can't. Right, huh. I get that. So yeah. that's that's what I'm saying. So nah, but uh, are nah, you going with? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the play yet. I don't know what the play yet about essence about what I'm doing. But I know they're talking about a reunion, and I don't know why I seen Usher. They say something about Usher's headline, so they have more than one headline. Oh, they got a bunch of headlines because you got to understand every day is a headline. So uh, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And when so, the main day be like? Uh, every day is the main day. It's the he- the headline of that date is where you want to go. Meaning like, oh, I like Usher. I'm going. Or oh, I like, you know, this right. person. I'm going Saturday because that's my favorite artist. I'm going Sunday because that's my favorite artist. So yeah, every might, might go. every uh night got their own headline that right. close it out. Right. They got a bunch of artists on there and then they got the headline. And you might be going for, so people go for, a bunch of different Whatever reasons. They, yeah. I'm going because he's not the headline, but that's my favorite artist. I, I love them. I'm right. going to the Super Lounge and fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? They got some people that buy the whole weekend. Right. I the only right. fuck with Essence. I come out for Essence because that's the week that I just you enjoy every myself. Every, you go every, every day. You go every- no, I don't go every huh. day. But I'm just saying, I don't fuck. I don't go no days. You and uh, your wife going? To, uh, <laughs> you, oh, you say you ain't going no, you ain't going I, no ain't, I ain't really, you know, I got a, I told you on a podcast couple of podcasts ago, Essence never booked me. I have a problem oh, yeah, with that. So I feel a certain kind of way about Essence, like because I feel like you come to my city, you make all this money off my city. I think I'm prominent in the city as being a certain kind of caliber of an artist that it's no reason that Portland's of Crime should never have been booked on Essence on a main, like you don't have to be the main stage, super lounge, but in that super dome, I think that we should be there because we've earned the respect to be there. Prior to Essence coming to New Orleans, we was the one of them groups that had made waves that when Essence come to New Orleans, they should be looking up who had the, and, and, and making these people a part of what you got going on. So with them never doing that, you know what I'm saying? I don't really, I fuck with Essence accordingly to the people I'm with. Meaning right. like, if I got a partner or two or a couple that say we want to go to Essence, y'all want to go to Essence, we might go on the strength of the company, not right. directly Essence itself. If that make any sense. No, nah, no, nah, real shit. I heard him. <clears throat> I heard uh, they played a little clip, and I heard it on the Breakfast Club that Jewel was saying that this this going to be the reunion. So when a nigga saying the reunion, man, you know, but what, what we taking it as when niggas say the reunion, you think that's what it really going to be? Well, I think it's going to be a reunion amongst the ones that's... No, see, that's what we ain't... That's what I'm but, saying. But, 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 when, but, when we say reunion, you know what we saying. Everybody, not no three, two, this. When, 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 when niggas down here say cash money reunion, nigga, we talking about that shit that we know we talking about. Yep. Hey, I, w- I would agree. Not no substitute shit. I would agree on that, but when, when 
when we use the word reunion, if we're going to just speak on the word reunion, reunion is amongst people that haven't been fucking with each other and, and, and was able to get back together and, and, and unite and, and fellowship, right? So if it's two, one, you know, you got to be two or more, but to, to make it a reunion. Nigga, a reunion, have a reunion amongst him and his partner you haven't seen in 30 years. Man, it's a reunion, bitch. I ain't seen you in so long. I'm finally get together with you. So, you know, the reunion is amongst the ones that agree upon uh, getting together. So, you know, I will, I know what we want. I know what we uh, expect. What we expect as a reunion, meaning like we want all y'all together. That's what the people want. But that don't mean that the parties that's involved is reunion amongst the ones that they have a disagreement with, if that make any sense. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what they expect when they say reunion and that, that word reunion get, 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 get flopped around loosely amongst what the people might expect as a whole. You know what I'm saying? So when we say reunion, they wouldn't be lying if they said, we having a reunion. And you see Manny Fresh, you see Juvie, you see Birdman, and if BG come, he come. And you don't see Wayne right. or two. You know what I'm saying? You might be like, it still was a reunion, right, but it right. wasn't a reunion amongst a all of them. Reunion. Right, 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 yeah. right. You know, how many family reunions you went to and you didn't see the cousin that you been knowing? Hey, that nigga be saying some good shit, but he be stretching it all the time. You remember time? Yeah. He be stretching it because he be adding little things and it throw everything off. You hear me? We, nigga, he, so he write about the reunion. I'm a lawyer. But he, he write... That's that. That's that'll be the right title. I would love Cause look, that. cause look, he's saying the right shit. Right. But the part that's missing is the hot boys reunion, right. not your family. Right. No, this the, is this the, the nigga from over money. there. This, 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 but they, that's what they promoting: cash hot money reunion. Boy. Hot boys reunion. It's, they promoting is a cash money reunion. Because it's, 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 it's the brand that's supposed to be coming that's now. That's the way to slide out. Of. That's the way that they're promoting it. <laughs> they're promoting that it. cash money reunion at Essence, cash money. Oh, all right. So yeah, the one. reunion going to be amongst who cash money, which is the CEO, Level the head of it, the that they feel like I need the reunion with. Yeah. See, that's the catch. See, you're missing a point. So don't tell me I'm adding and taking away. I'm, I'm, I'm judging off of what was said and what stated and what's promoted. It's a cash money reunion. They pull to have the big timers, juvenile. I you caught know what that. Saying? I you know, catch yeah, that. I caught that. Whether they have a reunion or don't have a reunion, according to what the people want to see as a reunion, it is what it is, bro. And I'm good on that. Like I, you know, like I, I'm so past a hot boy reunion right now, bro. You're so past wanting <laughs> it, huh? I, I, I wanted it when I wanted it. Yeah, you know, that's 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 that's, that's the nature of people. People want shit when they want shit. They don't want it when you want to give it. Right, right, right. We want it when we want it. And I understand BG has some complications and things of that nature. So I might give a little leniency to that side of it. But as far as the hype on it right. and the big talk, if if they say they're having a reunion, yeah. At, uh, give, it to, say, give it to us what we want it, huh? Yeah, if they got a reunion that they saying they having at uh, French, I mean uh, Essence. Essence, then that's what it is. Right, right, right. Whatever the reunion is, we are gonna come there, we are gonna enjoy it, and, and move on from that point on. You gotta give it to a nigga when they want it, nigga. Yeah. Not when you want it. Now, now when everybody on the stage got Beijing. No, you gotta give it to <laughs> the people. Everybody want it on now. the stage got yeah. Beijing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, stop it, man. Oh, that's Birdman, how long nigga wait. Birdman not wearing no beige. Nah, I'm fucking Because Birdman don't even wear a haircut. You know what I'm saying? So if he come with a man unit, you know it's a problem. <laughs> really hey, up. Birdman wearing a toupee, we're going to have a problem. Oh, we got a problem. It's <laughs> a problem, nigga. Hey, listen, this is one thing before we get out. Why niggas, bro? Because I don't never see no chick do that or talk about it. Why niggas, dog? Only when a chick have an attitude with him, a chick do something that a nigga just like go against go against a nigga. Why that nigga always come back and be like, man, that bitch want me to fuck. Man, that whole like a nigga. That whole did like that. The, 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 the act that she did didn't show you that she like a nigga. How is you getting in your head, man? That whole doing that just won't fuck a nigga. Because it was it it, it, it stems back to childhood. <laughs> How the fuck you? Yeah. You deep. I'm about to fuck you up with this one. Yes, it stems back to childhood because it's the girl that punched on you, took your toy, threw it down, 
that overall, in the long run, you know this is really like me. She really like fuck with me. She she really wanted to be with me. That was the it's immaturity on how we got the attention from a person, and that's usually where they come from. So if if you went through that as a child in your childhood stage, when you get older, that's what you uh, relate those type of things to. Bitch must like me. This curse me out like a dog. She curse me, but she, she must just, like me. Just want me to fuck. Listen, I've no, I, she don't. <laughs> listen, I've had this in my time. I've had a chick that I've dealt with. In my time of being, you know, from adolescence to way adult, back, way young back. adult, yeah, it's way, way back. But it is way back, real talk. But <laughs> in the mix of it being way back, motherfucker was mean to me. Man, bitch, you know, like this, this snobbish acting and wind up being a girl that became a girl I, would, I dealt with. That was my girl, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, when nigga reflect back on it, even with the person, it was like, girl, you like me the whole time. I probably liked you the whole time. I, we we didn't know that for because it's an immature state that we're dealing with, you know, and, and and we playing off it from the immature side of it. But right. when we get to a certain level, it'd be like, man, I always did like you, and she always, so that's why I think that when people equate that in their own lives, according to girls that's acting a certain way with them, when they don't have a particular reason, you just being mean to me for no reason. Yeah, because it's like it's like me. I don't know she if you ever. No she just listen, wants you not to tell me. I don't know if you ever been. In, I listen, live, I've been in a conversation. <laughs> listen, listen, no, no. Listen, listen, what I'm saying. I've been in dealings with females where trying to talk to them, they was acting like you ain't my type. I don't like red niggas the whole nine. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm digging in them, diving off in her the whole nine because overall you did. You know what I'm saying? You just are saying that because all you like is red niggas. That's what right. you like. That's what you right. like. All the niggas saying right. yourself. But you always feel you get hurt oh. by red niggas. You feel like red niggas play on you, and you've been you've been abused, or you uh, or you dealt with something with a red nigga that didn't go the way that red you, ain't right. It wasn't right. <laughs> only thing red on this bitch is that subscribe button. Bitch, <laughs> you better hit that subscribe button. You Man. better fuck with that red. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. with that red. Yeah. Hey, 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 check it out. When a bitch put you out. <laughs> You can't call the same niggas to help you to help you <laughs> unpack the shit. You know what I'm saying? Because we're right. going back. You can't you can't call the nigga to help you move out. That gonna be the same nigga to help you move back in. Cause you coming back, dog. When the chick right. put you out, my nigga, you can't be you can't be called the same when nigga. You my you partner, don't do that. When you my partner and you understand what it is, it is what it is. I'm going home, nigga. Right. Going home. That's all that shit you told me. All that shit I told you. Going home. And then he kid. Because he done went home too. I feel you, brother. He done went home. He, 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 you know, he done dealt with the shit. Nigga said, just leave this shit in your trunk, right? I'm going to get it tomorrow. My spot always over for you, baby. You know you ain't got to go. I'm going home. You can't give me what she giving me. Nothing at all. So I'm going home, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm a deal. I with fuck with y'all. Want you to make the best move, but I, I still don't want my nigga to be no duck nigga. I'm never a duck. You listen, and I always tell niggas this is my advice I give to niggas. Listen, stop worrying about me, bro. Fuck yeah. what I say about you. Fuck how I feel about it. Oh, oh, oh man. You better do what's real for you. Yeah. This shit powerful. Listen, you better do this what's shit powerful. For you because listen, nigga, I can't give you what you know. Do whatever you need to do that's gonna make you happy, but it, it, you know, like, For real, fuck man. what I'm thinking about. It. Man, I can call you a duck. I'm still ripping you, duck ass nigga. You stupid. Yeah, yeah, because nigga trying to. Nigga, nigga say they don't give a fuck. I'm going home, but nigga still try to ease it on you. Nigga don't just tell you. Damn, yeah, nigga, like, nigga hit you with some shit like, yeah, it's kind of been being hard out here. Kind of love playing, you know what I'm saying? But nigga do like the girl, you know what I'm saying? The kids and shit. Man, I, I get this shit and try, man. I think I should just go home, bro. Cause some of the shit was really my fault. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> yeah, some yeah. shit was just most shit was my fault. And I replayed everything, but boy, and I was mad in the moment. I'm telling you, calm right now. But I was mad as motherfucker. So it kind of was my fault. I triggered them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I brought it. If I was to deal with what I did, she so you even tripped out on me. You know what I'm saying? Then you got your partner saying. No matter what you said, bro, she shouldn't have said that about you. She should, she, you know the most, but they say shit that cut deep, you know what I'm saying? That's why she did you that, dog. Like, you know, I know you miss your kids, and I can't really tell you what to do with your kids, but I still, as a friend, 
I know my nigga ain't no duck, and I know what type you used to fuck with, you know what I'm saying? So, that's all I'm saying, man. Don't say it's your show. But is that gonna make him happy? He can get on a new bitch and still be unhappy, you know what I'm saying? Like, still thinking about the one that he wanna be with. Man, what would you need to be with? Because if, listen, if y'all ain't trying to impress me, you're gonna be miserable, bro. You know, because I'm still gonna laugh and joke and do whatever. Like, you home or going? Home or going? <laughs> right. That don't matter to me, nigga. That ain't my, I ain't living with him. If you wanna live, listen, bro. Nigga, nigga, you like, like it, I love it. Nigga, nigga would sometimes, hey, dog, I can't make this up for real, dog. <laughs> nigga would love for you to be gone from home a few days. Like your partner, like, 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 he's standing yeah, for day, still for something. Yeah, you still for something, and bitch, you about to have fun. I want to have fun with you. With you, you know what I'm saying? Like old day. Yeah, I want to fuck that bitch, man, but I'm going to live for it. I'm going to get back around to a bitch, no, go ahead, home, but right now, man, fuck it, man. Yeah. Right. You know, me and them got the pins right. like, Nigga said, private. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about, bitch. You're going to carry on? Carry on, bitch. Yeah. Go back Friday, bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but let's have a little fun. So, nigga, 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 we'll run Nigga, do that. Yeah. And the nigga, that, the nigga that's going through it need that. Real talk. You need a little fun. You need a little to, to, to reflect and be like, that was cool, but ain't nothing like home. And he yeah. not, and you not knowing that I ain't got to with my girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just home. That's why I want you to stay out and go out with me. Right. I'm going to I'm going to I ain't trying to say that either. I ain't never spoke of yeah. it. Because we going through something. So come on. You don't even know it. That's called misery love company, bro. That was fast. Ooh. My nigga. No. I, no, no, no. <laughs> That's no. what she said, yeah, yeah. That's misery love company. No. I hear you say it. Yeah. Which boy, it was like riding the track. You right. said you yeah, said yeah, it yeah, the first yeah, yeah. time. Yeah. That was, if you didn't know what that meant, that's misery love coming. If right. you didn't know what misery mean coming to meant with that and that and right yeah, that's it. Yeah, because he going through something, man. He now you know him. He's looking for something to have a good time with, and you know why not you? You going through something too? Well, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Tell you. So I ain't gonna even parade. I ain't gonna help. Bring you home yet yeah, until we have hey, real fun. Yeah, man, go home. Go ahead, man, really man. I'm still home. I'm missing my girl. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> home. <laughs> go ahead, home, bro. But you should do that shit again, dog. Go ahead, go ahead home, home, bro. But man, <laughs> you gotta start. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Bitch. You gotta start putting some shit on the side for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's real too. You know, what I need to tell you. need to do because if a nigga do need to, you know, if he really decides. Nigga, think about self. When they get into it with their girl. Or a nigga don't think about self more until you get into it with their girl. Until you be. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? And they be telling the nigga, boy. You, you want to take back everything you did. Bitch, if I wouldn't have did, 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 did. What, did, what? I'd be, I'd be here. When well, you think here. about those spits in your head, if I walk away and they walk away, it's ugly. <laughs> it's never it's, good for your It's side. dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> It's never it's dangerous. Very, nigga be there invested their whole life. What? Like, you walking away? Yup. Yeah. That, that be, yeah. Okay. It's dangerous. Yeah. Come on, you came. Come on, you came. But bitch, I came and yeah. built this. Like a right. I yeah. built this. I did come with a bag. Yeah. But I built this. I built this. And now you tell me, come on, you came. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Nigga don't want, nigga, just like nigga see them females do. They, don't nobody want that start over, you hear me? Don't nobody want to start over. They could right. do it, they know they can, but fuck, man, I don't put too much time in. I ain't trying to start over no fucking way. Talk about uh, the company. Unless you got to run it's real. Unless you got to run and start. If you got to run and start, then it's good. Start over, it's real. The start over, it could be harder, even if you got money. Even Some if shit. you, listen, even if your start over is to a level where I got all the money in the world, I could go get this or that, you know what I'm saying? It's still hard if you still got love for the person that you're starting over without. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because Whatever you got, it still feel empty without the person that you really want to share with or be with. You know what I'm saying? Nigga can't fake the phone. Nobody gas the hater, man. I miss the man and instigator. J time with the media. You already know what to watch. Watch this. And watch that other shit. Yeah. Y'all not coward. Y'all being real about what y'all doing. So. <laughs>